I want to talk about growth mindset. I think that's part of something that's talked about a lot. It feels like it's overused even at this day and age, but it's something that is extremely important because you need to have not only you're self-aware and you're figuring out what's wrong. You hold yourself accountable, which is we'll get into in more detail because I think that's a very big piece. But then how to want to do that is a part of the growth mindset. I feel like forcing yourself to even want to change for the better. What is your stance on growth mindset? And what do you say to people who are like, what's the point of this? Mm. Yeah, let me give you a a metaphor for Sage and then we'll talk about growth because I think it, it helps to describe what is meant by growth mindset. Uh, I believe that all great leaders are sage leaders, you know, per that acronym that I described. And I like to to use the the visual of a house, of a leadership house. And when you think about the pillars of that house, the the self-awareness is the foundation of that of that house the the stronger the the foundation the more self-aware you are the larger the building you can put on top of that foundation if you have low self-awareness as a leader you can't build much of a leadership house there's not too many people that can go under your roof because you just don't have a good foundation so more self-awareness bigger leadership influence and growth is the the walls and the roof and the, again, the bigger the, the foundation, the more walls and roof you can put on there. But the beauty of a growth mindset is sometimes we can remodel our leadership. We can go, ah, you know what? I actually want to create another room over here. I want to make a bigger home. So I'm going to remodel, blow the roof off of what I think is possible in my leadership and put a new one on, right? So you make your building bigger, your leadership house bigger. Empowerment is the windows and the doors. It's the idea that Uh, when people are under your leadership, they can also look out into other potential opportunities for themselves. Mm -hmm. And they can also step out and go into those opportunities by walking out the door. And and as an empowering leader, you want them to do that. That's the goal. And then the other direction is people can look into your leadership through those windows and they can step into that leadership too. You're, You're welcoming people. So they open that door and walk in. Accountability is the nails that holds it all together. So no matter how perfectly you structure and build your foundation, if you don't have accountability, if you get bumped into or the big bad wolf comes along and starts to blow on your house, it's going to blow down, but Mm -hmm. you have accountability and it it holds it together. So that's, that's the metaphor for uh, leadership and how, how I describe the sage house when it comes to growth. The main, the main thing is strengths. It's all about strengths. If you understand your strengths, and you lean into those and you manage you manage your weaknesses, you're going to find far greater success. That's a strengths finder concept. That's a Gallup mm-hmm. concept. So it's nothing new to people, but it's reality because there's too many stories of people trying to get really good at public speaking or trying to get really good at a sport or whatever example you can come up with that. They're just banging their head against the wall. That's not really their strengths. It's not where mm-hmm. they belong. And a growth mindset is first leveraging that. There's a lot more to it, but I would say that's the first piece is think strengths, manage weaknesses. 